When we think of a tokamak, our minds jump to plasma physics, high temperature confinement, and cutting edge machine engineering. But what we often forget is the immense effort behind the integrated design and assembly of the components that make it all possible. For years, a dedicated team at Eater has been working tirelessly to design, validate, and integrate the data needed for this monumental task. This integration is a key factor in assembling more than 1.5 million components and thousands of auxiliary systems, each playing a critical role in bringing this machine to life. Uh, design integration is a section inside the uh, ITER organization. We are in charge of the overall uh, physical integration and the configuration control of the, of the layout. So we collect all the 3D models coming from different partners. Uh, we identify the issue and uh, the, the resolution of the, of the topics before completion. To do quite easy and quick uh, check of the, with what already installed, so we, uh, we also use uh, some tablet directly uh, as uh, augmented reality and we, we make the identification and resolution of this, uh, this issue on site to compare the build and the design. We are trying to uh, develop uh, technologies to help the project. So it has started with the virtual reality, but now we are uh, expanding uh, the support to, with digital tools, so uh, the augmented reality with this one, with Gamer AR, and also uh, other uh, software like Sync2. The idea to use these uh, nice uh, technical uh, tools is to gain time and uh, increase the quality, because with the augmented reality, you can uh, walk around on the site with the 3D model, overlay, and uh, having a real or idea of um, the installation and if it's uh, conform or not. And that means uh, you can uh, avoid uh, quality issues. So here we are in the Tokamak complex uh, at uh, the level B1. Uh, if we go over there, so you have big uh, doors and behind it's a direct access to the machine. Uh, for, for the moment, you can notice that uh, the installation is ongoing and we can see uh, a lot of uh, systems that are already installed. With the tablet, we can have uh, an overview of the future and we can assess if the next uh, system will be clashing or not. So this is a kind of way to avoid uh, rework problems. So to settle the model, we just need to pointed out the positioning view. I have my uh, floor plan, which is showing. We are currently at B1 level, so I'm just selecting the B1 level. So when I look around, I need a, a edge. So here I will uh, point it out on this concrete edge, which is just right in front of me. I continue. Um, the tablet is able to scan the, the floor around, so you just turn around and select and once you think you're okay you position the pin click on the the screen and then direct the, the arrow for the edge the clear edge and you uh, directly select and it's okay i validate so i have the 3d model of the concrete so which is overlaying This is a very useful to plan future construction purpose. How we put, how we measure, how we adjust the exact location. We could see an as built condition with this AR. We can compare together with the, uh, the mod model itself. So location itself and the, the, uh, the orientation like this and dimension like this, we can see it at the site. So, very useful, very useful. I love it. We have uh, worked together with several divisions. 
For instance, it was a, a common uh, work with uh, design integration, uh, pushing for the technology and also the support from the design office uh, for the, the workflow of the models and of course IT, because the IT has supported us uh, for the benchmark and also for implementation in the, the ITER context. Clearly, design integration is a team effort and clearly, Virtual reality and augmented reality play a critical role for the ITER team.